Welcome back to MMA Science. We're here, we're back on the fence. We're doing some takedowns off of the fence. And MMA years ago, putting your opponent to the fence meant an automatic takedown. Times have changed, defense has evolved, and now putting your opponent on the fence does not mean an automatic takedown. And a lot of times, guys are using the fence for defense and they're using it very effectively. So you have to be able to get creative with your takedowns, know a lot of them, and be able to chain them together. So we're gonna go through three different takedowns off of the fence. If you look to some of our previous videos, we'll post a link on uh, this video. We went over striking and positioning from the clinch. Please go back to that video and uh, look at the strikes that we're using to set these takedowns up because those things are happening continuously. We never want to stop striking. We always want these things mixing together. Also refer to MMAScience.com to go over the MMA clinch position in absolute detail. So we're going to start here with an underhook. We have good head position and I have wrist control or bicep control. The first takedown that we're going to go to is going to be this leg reap. So I'm going to take my forward leg and I'm going to catch my opponent's leg. I'm going to take my hand that was an underhook and I'm going to go to the hip. I still have wrist or bicep control. I want to suck this leg up totally off of the ground and I'm going to turn and look to the floor. So I'm going to pull this hip and I'm going to turn and look to the floor. We're going to have another video with all the finishing positions and where we can go from there because those, that position right there is going to be, be dynamic and the way we finish can be a lot of ways. But we, what we first have to do is get our opponent from that fence to the ground. That's step number one. And then we have to break them down once we get them on the ground and then we continue to work from there. So one step at a time with these. Second thing we're going to do from the same position, we have the underhook, we have wrist control, we have bicep control, I have good head position. This is pretty easy. I'm going to drop my underhook hand right down the line of his spine. I'm going to change my level, get my hips below his, and I'm going to grab a single leg. I'm going to pull the single leg up, trap it with my legs, and I'm going to do the same thing, turn and look to the floor on the side that he has no post. Again, we can finish a lot of ways there. Sometimes I would follow him to the ground. Sometimes I may stay on my feet. Kind of depends on your game plan, your abilities, um, what your goal is for the fight. Those are going to be personalized things. Our last one is going to be from the same setup. I'm going to drop to the single leg. I pull him off, and for whatever reason, I cannot finish him here. I'm going to take my inside hand, my, my outside hand here in the front, and I'm going to go through the crotch and switch my hand to a seatbelt grip on his hip. Now I want to bring my hips in and lift him up. And now I'm going to lay him down right up against the fence. And again, our finishing positions are going to change. And that's one where you can really elevate him and throw him to the ground. So real quick, it's all three in a row. First one, we went to seatbelt, leg reap, turn and look to the floor. Second one, single leg, turn and look to the floor. Third one, single leg fails, I pull him off of the fence, I step in, hip and crotch, hips in, lift him up, lay him down in between you and the fence. Choose the finishing position that you want, and don't forget, takedown, breakdown, then position. Go to MMAScience.com to learn all about these things in more detail. Leave a comment below. Give us some feedback on what our future videos can be.